Welcome to the second module on the components of the CRISPR-Cas system. The components of the system which have been utilized for genetic engineering and genome editing are the enzyme Cas9, the tracer RNA, the CRRNA, and the protospacer adjacent motif. The enzyme Cas9 consists of three active sites. The RUVC binds to the sense strand of DNA, the HNH site binds to the anti-sense strand, and the tracer R binding, RNA binding site binds to the tracer RNA. There are many versions of Cas9 available. The first one is designated as negative RUVC. This has a mutation in the RUVC domain, which results in a mutant Cas9 enzyme with the ability to cut only one strand of DNA. The second version is similar. However, it has a mutation at the HNH domain. This enzyme can only cleave one strand of the DNA molecule. Finally, the third version is dead Cas9 or DCAS9. DCAS9 has two domains which are inactivated. This enzyme will not cleave DNA. It will only bind to DNA based on the CRRNA region. So DCAS9 is generally used in promoter studies where it can be bound to the promoter binding site and inactivate specific genes. It's a useful tool in functional genomics. Tracer RNA is the component of the host immune system. Tracer RNA does not exist in eukaryotic systems. This is why every Cas9 enzyme has to be transformed into the eukaryotic system along with its component tracer RNA. The CRRNA represents the gene which needs to be engineered or programmed. In this case of the CRRNA, you may note that in the blue oval, one component needs to bind to the tracer RNA. The second component, as indicated in the yellow oval, is the region which binds to the specific section of the genome which needs to be edited. In addition to this, there is a component known as a protospacer adjacent motif. This, as mentioned in the earlier modules, is unique to each Cas enzyme. The Cas9 enzyme will seek this motif prior to digestion of the DNA sequence. PEM sequences are unique to Cas9 enzyme. In the next slide, you will see the list of PEM sequences and their corresponding enzymes isolated from different bacteria. PEM sites also have compatibility. So if a PEM sequence is not present in a genome, it should not be utilized with its matching Cas9 enzyme. You will need to seek a Cas9 enzyme which matches with the PAM sequence available at your targeted genomic region. So these are some of examples of PAM sequences. As you can see, the Streptococcus pyrogenes PAM sequence is NGG, in which N can represent the nucleotides A, T, C, or G. A range of organisms and their respective PAM sites are indicated in this table. When a, a DNA fragment is cut using a restriction endonuclease, it undergoes two processes. The first is the non-homologous end joining DNA repair pathway, and the second is the homology directed repair or HDR pathway. These are natural systems which are present in the host organism and which will repair the DNA strand which has been digested by Cas9. So as you can see in this example, Cas9 introduces a double-stranded break. When a double-stranded break is introduced, the non-homologous end joining and repair system designated as NHEJ will repair the DNA strand. However, it creates an insertion deletion site commonly known as indel. This deletion will in turn inactivate the gene and render it non-liable to trans transcription and translation. 
In homology directed repair, a DNA fragment can be introduced by taking care that you insert it in the site which has been cleaved by the Cas9 enzyme. This is the end of module 2. Please complete your assignment at the end of this module. Thank you for watching.